Yoo-hoo! Willow, how's it going? Is your hair salon still doing well? It's me, your dearest mother-in-law, Everly. Everly? Yes, my business is doing fairly well. It's a cozy little hair salon. But it still provides me with sufficient income to meet my daily expenses. Well, let's get the usual pleasantries and get straight to the point. I have an urgent request. I need you to transfer $50,000 to my bank account immediately. 50000 Wow, why do you need that much money? Did something happen? Oh, haven't you heard anything? Mindy, my poor daughter, just got hit by a car and is now in the hospital. I need you to send the money I requested immediately. Her medical expenses are mounting and I need your help to get her the care she needs. Mindy is in the hospital due to a car accident? I'm deeply sorry to hear that. Honestly, I was unaware of this. No one told me. How is she doing now? Is it possible for me to visit her? No, there's no need for you to go through the trouble of visiting Mindy, dear. Simply sending me $50,000 will resolve everything. But, Everly, I don't currently have that much money available. Is there any other way I can assist or support? Who do you think you're fooling, young lady? I'm your mother-in-law, and I know everything about you, including the fact that you have a savings of $50,000. Hand it over right now and don't make me ask you again. What? That savings is intended for the future child I plan to have with Blake. We have been considering starting a family, and we need that money to ensure the well-being of our future baby. But how did you find out about my savings? How dare you think you can keep anything a secret from me, you cunning woman? My son is my eyes and ears. He keeps me informed about every single step you take. You're having a child soon? Seriously? My daughter is in the hospital with a life on the line and you're dreaming about having a child? Are you sick in your head, Willow? I can't believe you would stoop so low as to take for granted your own sister-in-law's life. Seriously, I don't have that much money available to send you right now. If Mindy actually got in a car accident, her health insurance or the at-fault driver's insurance should cover the medical expenses. Besides, as much as I want to help you out financially, I still find what you just said hard to believe based on the incidents that happened in the past. What? Do you really think you can question your own mother-in-law? This is just great. Fantastic. I'm the one who gave birth to your husband, for heaven's sake. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be here daydreaming about having a child with my son. And now here we are, Mrs. Good-for-Nothing Willow decides to disobey my command and even calls me a liar. Unbelievable, unacceptable, and unforgivable. Everly, can you please stop being so dramatic? I'm not calling you a liar, but I do find it hard to believe your story. You weren't completely honest with me the last few times something like this happened. Do you remember when you requested $3,000, claiming that Mindy had broken her legs and needed the funds for her operation? It's because of such occurrences that I approach the current situation with caution. Oh, not again. I'm so tired of hearing about that. It was a long time ago and nobody even remembers it. Why are you bringing it up now? Why am I bringing this up now? Because I just found out that the whole thing was a scam. I noticed something was off about Mindy's broken leg. So when I visited her house, I intentionally dropped a $100 bill on the floor and hid in a corner. She fell right into my trap, threw away her crutches, and literally crawled on the floor to grab the money. What? You set a trap to trick my daughter? How could you do that? That's a crime and I can easily sue you for it. What I did is a crime? Seriously? You and Mindy tricked me first. Luckily, I only sent you 1,000, but I could have easily sent more if I hadn't known the truth. Mindy is the mother of five kids now, and she should be saving her money instead of splurging it on frivolous things like expensive hair treatments, branded clothing, and high-end spa sessions. Why are you referring to Mindy's interests as frivolous things? Her spending habits have nothing to do with you. She's an independent adult who can make her own choices regarding money management. Your opinion on how she should spend her money is unnecessary. And unlike you, who always looks like a hot mess, my daughter knows how to take care of herself and look her best. She's not going to waste her time on money on things that don't matter like you do. I wouldn't have any objections to Mindy's spending habits if she were using her own hard-earned money instead of constantly relying on others to fund her expenses. Who do you believe you are to pass judgment on my daughter? Instead, why don't you fulfill your role as a respectful daughter-in-law to me and provide the funds I require for your sister-in-law's medical treatment? It's not an exorbitant amount, 
Merely a modest sum of $50,000. Considering your own hair salon, that sum shouldn't cause much of a problem for you, correct? Are you kidding me? I'm not made of money. I work hard to make ends meet, just like everyone else. If it's not so much money, then why don't you pay it out of your own pocket? Are you stupid or what? You're well aware of the daily struggles I face, relying solely on my meager pension. It's simply impossible for me to pay such a substantial amount on my own. If I were capable, I wouldn't even waste my time texting someone as worthless as you. What about Mindy's husband, Douglas? I know he earns a decent salary every month, right? So why don't you ask him for help? Douglas? He's currently thousands of miles away on a business trip. So it wouldn't be appropriate to burden him with such a trivial issue, would it? Oh my goodness. I can't believe you're still here arguing while your sister-in-law is in the hospital fighting for her life. We're discussing a matter of life and death here. If it is truly a matter of life and death, why don't you allow me to come to the hospital and see her? Even a three-year-old kid can tell that something is seriously wrong here. What, are you seriously blaming me for being so thoughtful of you? I understand that you have work commitments, so there's no need for you to go to the hospital and visit my daughter. It's already a significant burden for you to handle the financial responsibilities, my dear. That's why I believe it's only fair for me to take on the caregiving duties for Mindy. Look, I'm right here beside her. I can even send you a picture as evidence. Oh dear, what has happened to Mindy? It appears she's in a coma and her entire face is covered in bandages. See, I told you. My daughter was just struck by a car and is now in a critical condition. You're the only one who can help us. Please, Willow, I beg of you. Kindly send me the money immediately. Your sister-in-law's time is running out. <sighs> Fine. I'll transfer 5000 to you as a first installment. And it's all I have available at the moment. Are you joking with me? Five measly thousands? It's nothing compared to what I requested. I can't believe you'd send such a meager amount. Do you think Mindy and I are beggars or something? Oh, I see now. Money means more to you than your own sister-in-law's life. Is that it? It's utterly repulsive. You're like a devil, I must say. I'm profoundly disappointed in you, Willow. You're simply not worth of being my daughter-in-law. I already told you, that's all I have for now. I don't appreciate you being so demanding. I have my own family to take care of and bills to pay for. Please be more considerate of my situation. All right, all right, there's no need for lengthy lectures. I don't have time to listen to your complaints all day. Fine, I will accept the modest sum of $5,000 for now. Remember to send me the remaining amount as soon as possible or else I'll tell my son to divorce you at once. Hey Blake, do you have a moment to spare for a conversation? I really need your confirmation on something. What is it? I'm in the middle of playing games on my computer, and I specifically don't want to be disturbed right now. Seriously? Computer games again? While I'm here busting my butt off, all you do is glue your eyes to that computer day in and day out? What's so wrong with that? I'm simply unwinding and giving my mind a break after hours of exhausting job searching. You're the one who constantly nags at me about getting a job. So why can't you have a bit of sympathy for me once in a while? After all, I'm your husband, for crying out loud. Okay, fine. We can get to that later. Now I have something more important to ask you about. What is it? Spilled the beans already? I don't have much time for your nonsense. Listen, your mom just contacted me, informing me that your sister was involved in a car accident and is currently hospitalized. Were you already aware of this? Has she reached out to you and discussed the situation? What? Mindy was struck by a car and is currently hospitalized? Are you telling me the truth? I truly don't have all the details. Everly told me just recently as well. She also mentioned the need for $50,000, but I wanted to consult with you before taking any action. No, my mom hasn't told me anything about it. If that's the situation, then we must hurry and go to the hospital to visit my sister. Poor Mindy. Her stupid husband is always away on lengthy business trips, leaving her alone in the house. I swear. When Douglas returns, I'll make sure to teach that scumbag a lesson he'll never forget. The thing is, your mom didn't even provide me with the name of the hospital where your sister is admitted, and she forbade me from going to see Mindy. All she mentioned was the request for $50,000, with no additional information. Then why didn't you send her the money she asked for, you vile little witch? Are you even aware that my sister's life is hanging by a thread? 
If my mom says she needs the money, you need to send it to her. No questions asked. I'm not sure if your mom is telling the truth about your sister's condition. Even though she sent me a picture of her in a coma with bandages all over her face, I still find it hard to believe. What? My sister is in a coma with her face covered in bandages? This isn't right at all. You've got to help her. Send my mom the money she asked for straight away or prepare to face the wrath from me. Remember, you're my wife and it's common sense for wives to take orders from their husbands. If you don't do as I say, I'll kick your sorry ass out of this house. I mean it. I won't go easy on you. Wow, imagine that coming from an unemployed man himself. I'm surprised that you would say that to me, considering that you are the one who's unemployed. I'm not sure why you're treating me this way, especially since I'm the one who has been supporting you financially. If you care about your sister so much, why don't you send the money to your mom yourself? Do you think it's fair for me to be the only one responsible for taking care of the financial problems in your family? Seriously? Are you still arguing with me about who should send the money? Is that more important than my sister's life? Can you please get your act together and understand the severity of the situation? If you don't send the money to my mom right away, my sister will be in even more danger. Can you please stop exaggerating everything? Mindy has insurance coverage. That's reassuring for her medical expenses. Are you kidding me? You think I'm exaggerating? You're the one who's trying to downplay the situation. Are you even aware of how crucial my sister is to me? She holds the second most significant place in my life, right after my mother. If anything bad happens to her, do you have the audacity to bear the responsibility? I highly doubt it. You're nothing but a spineless coward who would try to evade accountability and point fingers at others for your own incompetence. You disgust me, Willow. I can't believe that I chose a worthless piece of garbage like you to be my wife. Blake, I can't believe you're using this tone to talk with me, your own wife. The way you're acting right now shows that you literally have no respect for me. Honestly, what have I ever done to deserve such kind of treatment from you? Why should I bother having any respect for a heartless monster who refuses to spend even a small sum of money to assist her own family? I swear, if you don't immediately send the money my mother requested, I will ensure that you suffer a living hell when you come back from work. Believe me, I'm dead serious. This is not a game anymore. Willow! I explicitly requested that you send me $50,000 yesterday to assist with your sister-in-law's medical expenses. And you had the audacity to negotiate it down to a mere $5,000? But even that pitiful amount of $5,000 did not find its way to me. I demand an explanation from you. What is the meaning of this? Oh, spare me the act, Everly. Your charade doesn't deceive anyone anymore. Let me make it abundantly clear to you. I have no intention whatsoever of sending you anything, not even a penny. So stop blowing up my phone with your absurd and irrational demands once and for all. What, do you find this amusing or something? This is an extremely grave situation. Mindy, your only sister-in-law is fighting for her life in the hospital and you're acting as if it's inconsequential, as if it's none of your concern. Have you even bothered to look at the photo I sent you and witness the extent of Mindy's injuries following that horrific car accident? Her face is completely concealed by bandages. Why don't you drop your selfishness and stubbornness and send me the money I demanded? Are you incapable of considering anyone else's needs but your own? It's clear that you prioritize your own desires above the urgent situation at hand. Show some empathy and take immediate action instead of dragging your feet. Oh, really, Everly? Then why don't you reveal the true motives behind Mindy's hospitalization and enlighten everyone? Lay your cards on the table and let the real story come to light. I'm already well informed. I reached out to Mindy's husband, and he provided me with a detailed account of the entire incident from start to finish. So don't think you can keep any secrets hidden. What? How dare you reach out to him? I told you he was away on a business trip. You had no right to disturb him in such a manner. Your actions were completely out of line, young lady. Oh, it may be true that he's currently away on a work trip, but let me inform you that he'll be returning home soon. And guess what? He'll be bringing divorce papers along with him. Brace yourself for the impending reality, because Mindy's marriage is on the verge of crumbling. Divorce papers? Why on earth would Douglas be carrying those? It simply doesn't make any sense at all. You're just simply bluffing. Oh, so Mindy conveniently forgot to mention anything to you, huh? Well, let me enlighten you. 
Douglas has reached his breaking point with Mindy's reckless spending habits, squandering his hard-earned money on luxury items that she barely even uses. In fact, he confided in me that Mindy resorted to stealing his credit card in an attempt to finance her unnecessary plastic surgeries. Fortunately, Douglas discovered her deceit before it was too late and managed to block the card in time. Now that her source of funds has been cut off, Mindy finds herself unable to pay for her surgeries. That's precisely why you're turning to me, begging for money to cover her expenses, isn't it? So, so you and Mindy's husband have uncovered the truth? I, I can't believe it. No wonder I couldn't use Douglas's card to cover the cost of Mindy's surgery. I also have other bad news for you. Douglas will also be taking legal actions against Mindy for stealing his credit card. And of course, Mindy will also get her butt kicked out of her husband's house. So, you might also want to pass on that piece of news to Mindy too. I'm sure she'll be thrilled when she gets to hear it. Oh, but do remind her to take her time recovering from those extravagant plastic surgeries. It seems like she'll have quite the journey ahead of her. <laughs> How dare Douglas take legal action against my daughter and kick her out of the house? He has no right to do this to her. I can't believe he'd stoop so low as to hurt her like this. He's Mindy's husband, for heaven's sake. You mean, her soon-to-be ex-husband? <laughs> Willow, you have to help us on this. I've already paid for half of Mindy's surgery expenses using Douglas's money. Now there's only a little amount of cost left to pay. Can you please somehow send us that money? If not, we'll be in big trouble. We're not asking for much, you know. Only a hundred thousand dollars. I know you have that much to spare, right? Are you kidding me? How on earth did the surgery expenses suddenly double from 50000 to 100000 in such a short period of time? This drastic increase is utterly absurd. Are you forgetting something? The initial $50,000 estimate was made before I became aware of Douglas's intentions to divorce Mindy and pursue legal action against her for theft. Now, in addition to the surgery expenses, we also require funds to settle any potential damages owed to Douglas. Furthermore, we must consider our daily expenses, as Mindy's wealthy husband will no longer be able to cover our bills. Are you pretending to be ignorant? Or is your comprehension truly that limited? Why in the world would I ever consider giving you such a substantial sum of money, even after your attempts to deceive me in the past? You fabricated a false narrative about Mindy's severe injuries resulting from a car accident and demanded $50,000 from me, but it's clear now that it was all a lie. Furthermore, there have been numerous instances before this where you've tried to swindle money from me. As the saying goes, let a fool cheat you once, shame on him. Let a fool cheat you twice, shame on you. I refuse to be foolish enough to fall for your deceitful tactics again. This charade must come to an end. But you're still Blake's wife. That means you're still my daughter-in-law and you're part of this family. Now fulfill your duty as a family member and help your sister-in-law and your mother-in-law out. This is not a request, this is a demand. You'd better do as I tell you or I'll make my son divorce you in no time. You know, Blake is my good little boy. And he always does what I tell him to, unquestioningly. Oh no, please. Don't make Blake divorce me. I'm so scared. <laughs> That's right. Keep on crying like a little kid. I find the sound of your fear and intimidation quite amusing. If you insist on being a stubborn little brat and not send me the money I require, I'll order Blake to kick you in the butt and get rid of you like a piece of trash you are. Oh my god! You really are dumb, Everly. Do you honestly believe that your empty threats have any effect on me? Thanks for entertaining me and giving me a good laugh, but the show is over. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm more than happy to divorce Blake, the ultimate freeloader. Do you know what he's been doing for the last two years? Sleeping, playing computer games, whining if dinner isn't prepared on time, and even worse, talking to Mindy for hours on WhatsApp. What? The ultimate freeloader? How dare you use such a dreadful term to describe my son? I understand that he hasn't been employed since his termination from his previous job, but he's only taking a well-deserved break. He's probably feeling disheartened due to the unfortunate outcome of his last employment endeavor. Any normal wife would be trying to support and uplift her husband during this difficult time. But what are you doing instead? You're attacking him. What a terrible and twisted person you are. Taking a break for two years? That's a long time to hibernate, even for a bear. 
Just face the reality. Blake's just trying to avoid work. Listen up, you arrogant little rascal. If it wasn't for my son Blake, who was foolish enough to marry a wretched woman like you, you'd still be hopelessly single by now. So why don't you act more like a wife and show him the respect he deserves? Show him some respect? Oh, please. Why should I hold any respect for a man who consistently fails to support me, dismisses my opinions without a second thought, and readily accepts everything you and his sister say as gospel truth? Why should I respect a man who can't even lift a finger to help with the household chores and shamelessly lives off my hard-earned money, all while treating me with utter disdain? Let me enlighten you, dear mother-in-law. I would gladly cast aside that egotistical, jobless parasite and leave him in the gutter where he truly belongs. What? What's gotten into you? Where did this rebellious attitude come from? That's it. I'm telling my son to divorce you and kick your sorry ass out of this house. Just wait and see. Blake, I've just got home. But why has our house suddenly turned into a warehouse? Whose belongings are scattered all over the place and piled up on the floor? Oh, I forgot to tell you. My mom and Mindy's kids are going over to our house and staying with us. I'm helping them get settled in. And I need you to tidy up this pigsty you call house before they arrive. And one more thing, remember to help my mom and sister unpack their belongings. I know you're terrible at doing chores anyway, but this is your chance to learn. So, chop chop, no time to lose. How could you do this to me? Your mom and Mindy's five kids are moving in with us? I can't believe you made this decision without even consulting me first. Why should I? You're already aware of the ongoing issues between Mindy and her husband, correct? As a responsible family member, it's my duty to step in and assist them to the best of my abilities. That's why I've chosen to allow them to live with us in our house. What do you think? I think it's awesome. And I'm literally shaking with excitement knowing that tomorrow marks the beginning of our new life together. Are you lost in a daydream, Blake? Do you really think I'll continue living with you? Considering all the actions committed by you and your family that have caused me so much distress? You continue living with me? In your dreams. Once you've completed your cleaning and unpacking tasks, you'll have to move out of the house and find a new place for yourself. I think you'll fit right in with the homeless bums who live in the parks or on the streets. I mean, we can't all live together in this house, right? It'll be too cramped for us. Finally, I can't wait until my mom, my sister, and I get to spend some quality time together without the stubborn mule I call wife around. <laughs> Seriously? Now you're even forcing me out of the house? Your utter cluelessness truly knows no bounds, Blake. I don't see what the big deal is. You have a hair salon, so you basically have a free place to live. Why don't you just move in there? I'm sure the cozy salon chairs will make for a delightful living arrangement. That's it, Blake. I've had enough. I'm filing for divorce. I've already signed my part of the papers and left them on the bedside table. You should sign yours when you get home from helping your mom and sister move in. But if I were you, I wouldn't waste my time. They'll have to move out soon anyway, and you're no exception. What? You're divorcing me? But why? I haven't done anything wrong. All I did was lend a hand to my mother and sister. I don't understand why you have a problem with that. Oh, just drop dead already. I can't believe you're so naive to not even realize what you did wrong. You conveniently allowed your mother and sister to move in. And now you have the audacity to push me out? Allow me to enlighten you. The place you're currently living rent-free in is the very apartment I purchased when I was single. It's in my name, and it unequivocally belongs to me. Do you know what that means? It means that the one who should be leaving is not me, but rather you and your family. No, please. This simply can't be happening. You can't divorce me and kick me and my family out of the house like that. Where do you expect us to live from now on? Out on the streets? Why is that my problem? Oh, and while we're at it, Please tell your selfish sister to give up on the idea of keeping her children by her side to get child support from her husband after their divorce. She'll be going to jail, and Douglas will be the one who has custody of the kids. What? That scumbag even dared to take away my nieces and nephews? I knew it. I knew he wasn't a good person to begin with. Mindy is so unlucky to have married that weirdo. Mindy is unlucky? Please, it should be quite the opposite. 
She recklessly wasted her husband's hard-earned money on trivial and unnecessary items. And to make matters worse, she even resorted to stealing his credit card. Douglas is currently in the process of filing a lawsuit against Mindy. So it won't be long before she faces the consequences and finds herself spending time behind bars. No, 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 this can't be happening. Douglas is actually taking legal action against my dear sister, Mindy. How can this be happening? It's completely unjust. I swear, I'm gonna make that jerk pay a heavy price for hurting my sister's feelings. Well, if I were in your shoes, I wouldn't even bother concerning myself with the well-being of others. After all, let's not forget that you and I are also in the process of getting divorced. Divorce? No, I won't allow it. Willow, I beg you, please, reconsider your decision to divorce me. I know I've made mistakes, but I'm a changed man now. I promise, I will never let Mindy or my mom come near our house again. Please take me back and let's forget about this whole divorce thing. You know it's ridiculous, right? Well, as much as I love to see you grovel at my feet and cry, that ship has definitely sailed at this point. I'm dead set on getting divorced, and there's nothing that can change my mind. Just pack your stuff and make sure you're gone from my house by tomorrow. You know what? I am eagerly anticipating the finalization of our divorce as it will mark the beginning of an entirely new chapter in my life, free from the detrimental influence of toxic people like you and your entire family. Finally, Mindy has been convicted of all charges and is now serving her sentence in prison. It's quite ironic how her extensive plastic surgeries aimed at enhancing her appearance might attract some attention in jail. She may find herself quite popular among the inmates. As for the divorce between Mindy and Douglas, it proceeded relatively smoothly, with Douglas securing custody of their children. Regarding Blake and myself, there was no distribution of assets following our divorce. Blake had no personal savings, and we had no shared accounts. Consequently, he did not receive any financial compensation from me, not even a single penny. Subsequently, Blake and his mother found themselves compelled to rent a tiny, cramped apartment, relying on his mother's modest pension, and the alimony sent by Mindy's husband out of sympathy. On the other hand, my hair salon continues to flourish, allowing me to generate a substantial income. Moving forward, I have made the decision to surround myself with friends, family, and individuals who genuinely appreciate my true value.